For the first time in history, the global population is more urban than rural. While the term urban can mean different things to different people, municipalities of all sizes are, and always have been, dynamic centres of activity. Cities offer jobs and prosperity, important social interaction, and rich opportunities for cultural expression, learning and education. Change is seldom more apparent than in this ever-evolving urban context. But in an age of pervasive global warming, population growth and increasing resource constraints, cities must innovate more proactively than ever before. Not only must energy production shift to low-carbon alternatives, we must also mitigate systemic inefficiencies in the current urban infrastructure. Urban design and communication technology can help us achieve these efficiency gains and reduce our environmental footprint. Cities are the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. By measuring and tracking our energy consumption, we can inform and influence consumer behaviour. Next generation information technology can help us better manage vital water resources by identifying losses and improving the quality of supply. Embedded networks of tags and sensors can ensure that waste flows are optimised and that material cycles are closed where possible. Real-time data analysis can enhance the effectiveness of our public transport systems, improve traffic flow and reduce pollution. Smart buildings save energy by self-regulating indoor temperature and light. They can increase productivity, making better use of space by being responsive to the needs of each occupant. A connected, information-rich urban environment can benefit government and businesses, and it can benefit the city's primary stakeholder, the citizen. Equipped with accurate data relating to mobility and to our energy and material consumption, we can lighten our environmental impact as individuals, in the home, in the workplace, and in our public spaces. Information and communication technology can peel back the layers of the city we seldom see, the bones, guts, and nerve endings of a complex organism, the ducts and conduits under our feet, the pipes and cables behind our walls, and the industrial facilities and plants beyond our city limits. A network of sensors and receptors could ultimately permeate every layer of an increasingly connected, built environment, making the invisible visible. Such heightened connectivity would enable new modes of communication and collaboration, revolutionising the way we interact with each other and with the urban environment around us. Advanced information and communication technology would also help us monitor our progress as we move into a post-carbon era. All three sectors have a key role to play in helping deliver this transition. Government, the business community and civil society. In working together, we can create a more connected and sustainable urban future. Thank you.